Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Hughesman and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how you can have the best 2021 possible, your best year yet, which is especially well needed after such a horrible 2020. So if you want to see my tips and tricks for making this a positive, happy, productive year, keep watching. But before we dive in, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps me as a small creator. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you're notified every time I upload a new video and you can interact with me on the community tab. So without further ado, let's get started. Wow, okay, 2020 was hard, but luckily I feel like I ended 2020 with some new habits that have really helped me. I know a lot of people had a really rough 2020. 2020 actually wasn't horrible for me, and so I'm taking the tips that I applied to last year and kind of revamping them for this year to make this year even better. So hopefully you can have a good year even if the rest of the world is literally in a pandemic dumpster fire. So my first tip is to move your body. And this doesn't mean working out like a crazy gym rat. This doesn't mean going on like a 5K run every single day. It just means kind of getting a sweat, like doing something that elevates your heart rate, makes you feel good. There's so many endorphins after working out that are just so key to your mental and physical health that I highly recommend moving your body every single day. For me, a lot of times, this just means taking my dog for a walk after dinner. Maybe it means going up and down the stairs a couple times between meetings, anything I can do to kind of elevate my heart rate. This is especially one I need to work on this year because I want to get into even more moving my body of like, using those workouts but i find even at that just base level of kind of like walking stretching and doing some yoga kind of help release those endorphins so in 2021 i will definitely be moving my body more and i am going to be doing a whole fitness transformation about how i am changing lifestyle habits so definitely stay tuned on my channel for that if that's something that interests you Next up is to get organized. I find that a clean space really helps transition into like a clean headspace and feeling less anxiety and more mental clarity. And so recently I've been working with organizers in Raleigh, North Carolina to help organize my space and the transformation has been insane. So they've already done my closet, my bathroom vanity, my filming room and my office. And after they organize these spaces, they actually put systems into place that allow me to keep it organized. So it's not kind of just like this one-time cleanup. So I highly recommend loop in a friend, have someone help you with it, but organize your space, make it a space that you are excited to be in, that you're excited to keep clean. I think this really helps with productivity as well. Like my office, now that it's clean, I love going in there and sitting in there and journaling and just making it my Zen space. And I think I'm a lot more productive <laughs> when and I'm not worried about so much clutter everywhere. And so, like I said, for me, this was a professional organizer, but for a lot of you, this could just be taking a Saturday afternoon, putting on a good podcast and going through your things. I also think alleviating a lot of the clutter starts with getting rid of some of your stuff. And so this year I'm also trying to focus on being a little bit more minimalistic and getting rid of things that I no longer need. So go through your closet, see what you don't need anymore. Maybe you can sell those clothes and use that money to get something nice for yourself as a treat for organizing everything. Go through your makeup products, see what's expired. A lot of items probably aren't good for your skin anymore and you don't wanna be keeping onto those and then putting literal mold on your face. That is disgusting. <laughs> so. For just even your own sanity, I highly recommend organizing your space and then 2021 can start on actually a clean slate, like a literal clean space slate. My next tip for 2021, and this is especially relevant during a pandemic, is to stay healthy. This was really hard for me during 2020. I actually got COVID twice. I dealt with a lot of health struggles. And so this year I am very, very hyper-focused on how I can stay healthy. Part of this means getting my groceries delivered instead of going to the store, taking as many steps as I can to socially distance, and just kind of making sure everything I'm using can easily be cleaned. And so one of my tips, like little life hacks for this has actually been Overture. They're a Dallas-based company that does all of these great silicon-based products, which I love because I can actually take them and like wash them in soap and water. So they have key rings that go over your arm, which is super nice if I was going out because I could just like put it on my arm. I don't have to worry about carrying my keys. They have silicon pouches for carrying things, but my absolute 
favorite thing they have is this hands-free tool. And actually my best friend Ellie had one of these and I was so jealous. The brand was actually nice enough to send me one because I was so obsessed with this tool. And it is just the ability to like touch ATMs, open elevator doors, you can use it to open doors. It has so many different uses and I am determined not to get COVID for a third time. So this is definitely gonna be key for me. This also means I will be taking a lot more hand sanitizer with me, being a lot more careful about just everything. Like I feel like I was so careful last year and I still got sick. You know, take the needed steps you need to, to be healthy. And that also means going to your doctor's appointments. If you saw my new year's resolution video, one of my resolutions is to prioritize my health. And that actually means going to doctor's visits. So I am learning this year to balance how I can stay as healthy as possible. And I promise if I find any more good tools and tips and tricks, I will definitely show those off to y'all. My next tip is to get outside every single day. I noticed this when my mother-in-law came to visit. We actually all had COVID together, 2020, great year. And she was so into going for walks at least twice a day with our dog. And I started to accompany her and just realized that even when I was sick, being outside and just getting some fresh air totally elevated my mood. It gave me more perspective on things. It caused me to slow down and really focus on kind of like the task at hand when I was walking. And I really, really enjoyed that. And I found that actually going outside was huge for my mental health in 2020 and will continue to be huge for my mental health in 2021. I'm really lucky I live in the US South, so it is fairly warm. I mean, it's in like the 30s, 40s today, but it's not like Minnesota cold where it's like negative 20 degrees. So I can still go for a walk, especially at noon when it heats up. But even if you live in those colder climates, maybe just take your coffee outside and sip it you know, keep your hands warm with your coffee and enjoy that time outside. Enjoy listening to nature. Maybe disconnect from your phone while you're outside. That's what I tend to do. I'm definitely excited to take more hikes this year. I'm so pumped because there's a lot of walking trails around where I live, which is super exciting. And hopefully they're not too crowded because like I said, I'm trying really hard to stay healthy. So we're gonna see if I can socially distant and still explore the great outdoors. My next tip is to journal and actually write down your goals. If you want a productive year, you need to know what you're working towards. And so this means the beginning of the year, actually writing down what you want, put it down so it's accountable, it's in writing and you can look back on it. And then I highly recommend journaling throughout the year to see your progress, your status, where things can get better. For me, I really like going to therapy and talking with a life coach or a therapist about my goals. But right now that's really hard for me because I don't like virtual chats with therapists. I have such a hard time with a telehealth. Like I can't get the same sort of cadence of conversation. And so for me, journaling has been so key for replacing that. And then I can go into my appointments and have those to reference if I do go to the appointments. Actually writing down your goals can help you more closely align with what you want. It can help you realize if you have too many or too few and writing them down and visiting them every morning will really keep them at the forefront of your mind. My last tip, and I think this is the most important, is to do what you can to connect with those that you love. For me, this means every night, every single night this year, I am going to either call or FaceTime a friend and kind of just rotate through the people that I call because I'm so tired of 2020 feeling so distant from everyone. And for me, I think the real reason of life is love. I think the meaning of life is love and to connect with the people around you. And I think the more love you pour out, it's one of those amazing things. It, you're not gonna lose it. Like the more love you give, the more love you get. You're not losing anything. You don't have a set amount of love to give. Outpouring your love in whatever way you can is gonna be so important in 2021 to make sure the people around you feel loved and cared for and you can feel connected to them. And I think at the end of the year, you know, it's great if you get a raise. It's great if you, get a new car or you buy that house you wanted. But in 20 years, you're gonna look back on the relationships you had and you're gonna look back on those connections you made. And I think that's truly what's most important. So for 2021 to be a very impactful, meaningful year, I think you should make those and keep those meaningful connections. 
So these were my tips for having a very impactful, happy, and productive 2021 to make it your best year yet. These are just some small tips that I'm gonna be applying in my life and I recommend that you try out in yours. Let me know in the comment section if you adopt any of these practices, if any of these particularly work for you, or even if you have your own tips, I'd love to find out more. I hope you have a absolutely wonderful day. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out as a small creator trying to grow. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I know most of you watching don't subscribe. So if you could subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And if you turn on that bell icon, you can notify it every time I upload a new video. I am still figuring my upload schedule out for this year. I did say I was gonna go to once a week, but I miss y'all so much. I miss just sitting down with my friends. So I think I'm gonna up it back to twice a week and start uploading Mondays and Thursdays again. So make sure you're subscribed with that icon on so that every time I do upload, you do get notified. I hope you have a wonderful day. All my love, bye.